So when Kobe would be awakened, right? What was it that would motivate him to get up out of his bed and go and practice? That's what we need to find out. What is that thing in us that, that helps us to move, that helps us to um, rise above um, just, the, the, just the basics or rise above just being mediocre? What is it in us that causes us to move forward? And what is it that causes us to to go to the next level? What is it within us? What is that thing? It's your self-motivation. Right. But how do I apply? Once I get the motivation to do something, how do I apply that? That's the challenge. Because it's easy to tell ourselves to do things. But the hard part is, how mm -hmm. do we then... Mm -hmm. How do we then... Um, apply it and make it work for us well the best important thing to do with that is and I'll use myself as an example is when you are awakened or when you have a voice within you that tells you to do something um, begin to move towards that whatever it is so for instance if I feel a poem come inside of me or if I feel that I need to write about something or if I feel I need to go live because I've been pushed to do something or if I have seen something that I believe is oh that's something I need to address or I see something that is something that is going on and I feel that it's necessary to get dealt with then I don't I don't hold back and not do it I then apply that and in application of that, you have to do the work. What that means is you cannot sit idly by and have these different inklings and pushes and motivations of self and do nothing. Because at that point, after a while, you're going to now lack self-motivation because you're not doing anything to, um, to basically encourage yourself to continue. So if you're not doing that, if you're not applying, you're not applying the actions towards doing what you need to do, then you're going to find yourself like, you know what, I'm just not going to do it. And, and then that's going to be what it is. You're just not going to do it. So it's very vitally important that we learn to apply what we desire. And in that we have to, if we are motivating ourselves, that's fine. But if we're motivating ourselves. Then after the motivation, we need to apply what we have and what we're desiring to do. Now, I said all that to say mm -hmm. this. Here's the next thing that's important and vitally important. This is the last thing. So please make sure you're writing this down. Spirituality. I know I talk about this often and I know you guys have, I have drilled your heads with spirituality probably ridiculously because it is so vitally important but i want to take this back to what i tell my children what is vitally important is we seek to find god above the clouds and we really don't realize that god is inside of us each and every one of us has god in us okay what that means is there's a part of you that you cannot escape God's in you. So, and understand that God is omnipresent. So God is in you and God is around you at all times. Whenever you get something, and like I, I, I think it's very important that we don't miss this part. It's very important that when you hear something, you know, I think I need to do this. Or I got this funny feeling I should do that. Or there's... I maybe shouldn't walk around this corner because something in my pit of my stomach is telling me I shouldn't go around this corner. Do you know that's the God in you? I mean, really? Do you realize that that's the God in you? That is your sixth sense. And when you pay close attention to your sixth sense and to the God inside of you, you will be amazed at how much you will accomplish. But... I need to be very clear about this. It's very, very, very important. Please write this down. If your life is full of drama, is full of loud chaos, you're not going to hear God at all. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm going to say it again. 
If you have drama and loud chaos in your life and God is trying to reach you, he's not going to get through. You're not going to hear God because your life's too loud. This is why I tell you guys all the time about spirituality. And you, you know, the y'all that watch me, y'all know I'm always on this. So this is nothing new. But for those of you that are new, I want to welcome you. But I am very big about spirituality. You have to have a spirituality. You have to have, number one, you have to have your spiritual, your spiritual practice. What that means is you must have a prayer time every day, not once in a while, not going to church and coming home on Sunday. No, 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 no. Every single day you must have a prayer time. Number two, you must learn to meditate. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Meditation and prayer life is essential for this to get... Is a, it's a huge part about self-loving. Why? Because, like I said, God lives in you. In you, in your being is God. You can't look over the clouds to find him. You can't look around you trying to seek him. God is right here inside you. And why I'm telling you guys this is it's very important that we don't lose sight on how important it is that you stay constantly in tune to listening to that sixth sense, whatever you want to call it. You don't have to be somebody ultra religious and all about this and all about that, but you have got to have a spirituality. I am sorry, because if you don't, you are not self-loving, number one. You mm -hmm. don't have, It's this is important, you have to have a filter in life. And that filter that I talk about, it's almost like the sifter. You know, like when you have the powder, powder uh, sugar and you sift the powdered sugar to sprinkle it on your waffles or whatever. You have to have that same sifter in life. Because if you don't, you don't have something keeping you on top of what you say to you. So again, when I talk about internal dialogue it's important what we say to ourselves internal dialogue is what we say in our private thoughts what we say even when we're just walking around like man what do i need to do today even those small little thoughts like that that is something that you need to make sure you are on top of because if you're not on top of managing what's going in and out of your thoughts even on the inside of you <laughs> i'm telling you your life can be a shambles and you don't know why. I just don't feel good anymore about me. I just don't feel like I love me anymore. I feel like I'm not enough. I feel like I'm an ugly person. I feel this, I feel that because you don't have that sifter. And when I'm telling you about sifting through your life and, and sifting through your dialogue to you is vitally important because it is. We have to learn to do better about self-loving. And in order to love ourselves, we have to learn to watch what we say to ourselves. And if we're going to motivate ourselves, we now have to take that motivation and put it into action. We have to start moving. And we also have to be mindful of if we are going to say something to ourselves, empower ourselves, begin to want to be better for ourselves, do it. What is stopping you other than you? One thing that I learned from my daddy, he told me all the time, Life will hit you up against the ropes in life. Are you going to let the ropes just uh, collapse all, all over back of them? Or are you going to fight and get up? And he used to always tell me another thing. It doesn't matter. In this life, if all you can, make, all you can move is your eyeballs, you can make a difference. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, so at this point, I, there's no way I can stop. I, there's no way I can, I can just not get up every day and be, be honored about doing what we need to do. It's very important. We get to the, to the basis of what we need and the basis of what we need is getting back to loving of self. If we don't, we're going to find ourselves more miserable and it's not because of anything else, but lack of loving self. Now, I just want to give you something else that's very important. We have to understand that even if we're in a relationship, 
we can still be self-hating ourselves. We can still be miserable. We can still be depressed. We can still be feeling alone. We can still be very lonely. We can still be very unhappy. Just because you're in a relationship doesn't mean that you are not still miserable. So those of us out here that's desiring relationships, we want a relationship, we're dying to have one, but we're miserable by ourselves. You're not going to you're not going to find happiness outside of you. Your happiness is within you. But again, if your life is full of drama and chaos and all that, God can't get to you for you to hear the direction of how to change your life. First and foremost, our environment is very, very important. I don't just let anybody in my home. I don't just let anybody in my surroundings. I don't allow everybody to be around me. I don't. And it's not because there's anything other than me being very, very mindful of what I allow in my home, including media. I don't watch TV. I don't. I don't let that chaos that goes on. I mean, all the drama that goes on on the media, I don't let that infiltrate this mind of mine. I got too much other stuff to do to try to empower you guys. You guys I'm more focused on than going out here and listening to all the chaos on the media because on the TV screen and what they tell you to do and man, if I watch TV, I'd be scared to go out of my house. Do you hear me? They got you thinking, I mean, if I watch 30 minutes of the news, it just turns me off. You mean to tell me I you all you're showing me is murders and car accidents and you're showing me about who stole what and this criminal that and it's ugliness. I will not allow that to infiltrate in my mind at all. I refuse. And that is something we also have to be mindful of because that situation right there, television alone and any type of negative media, that's all they want to talk about is chaos, 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 murder, 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 car accident, car accident, car accident, robbery, all this headache stuff. It's like, oh no, that's not, that energy coming off of that TV screen, screen is not going to be allowed in my home. And I stopped that about maybe about four years ago because I, I was like, you know what I'm going to start becoming? I'm going to start becoming the commander in chief of my home, the commander in chief of my life, the commander in chief of what my children see, the commander in chief of what's going on in my immediate surroundings, the commander in chief of who I allow to be social with. I refuse to have that stuff infiltrate in my head. I'm not. So that's another thing I wanted to throw out there for you guys that want to learn about loving self. Learn to command over your life what is okay and what's not. Please don't allow media or all this chaos that other people are going got going on in their lives to infiltrate in yours. Because that in and of itself is not a part of self-loving. Sometimes we got to learn the word no. And I talked about that before. We have to learn to say no to it because it's just not healthy for us. It's not. And, you know, every Sunday I come on here at 12 noon and I do this for you guys. It's not for me, but it is for me because what's so funny is I will go back sometimes and be like, oh, yeah, that's something I need to reapply again. Or that's something I need to um, think about. Or even your comments, man. Your comments are awesome. I love you guys coming on here and saying things because you guys are another reason why I do this. I don't do this just for me. I do this for all of us. And one of the biggest things about self-loving is we have to learn to be a commander in chief over our life and especially over our mind. And we also have to be a commander of chiefs on what we say inside to ourselves. And once we master that and we clean up our environment, get all the people that are just negative and, 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 give you all kind of headache and every time you turn around they're needing money they're needing this they're needing that they're really not caring about you they just care about what you can give them those type of people get them out your life as soon as possible is that a part of self-loving absolutely because when you remove people from your life that are not coming in to your life other than being beneficial to you and you guys are bouncing back and forth on how to improve they're too much they cost too much Real talk. So I am I know I kind of went over a little bit, and that's okay. But um, again, I'm just going to give a real quick recap 
So you guys have this. Self-love is to forgive yourself. It's number one. Forgiveness of self. Number two, we need to learn how to be self-motivators. Okay? Number three, we need to learn how to apply our motivation. And number four, we need to make sure that we're focused on the spirituality and the God in you. Make sure you guys share this video because this video is not just for you. Trust and believe someone on your timeline definitely needs to hear this. <laughs> someone on your timeline, it can help them because a lot of times what we learn from here um, and we pass on, it's a beautiful thing. So make sure you guys share this video. Also, if you're not a part of it, please send me a, um, a friend request. I would love to have you guys be um, my personal friends. I do this every Sunday. Make sure you come on to my show the next time. Um, next Sunday, I'm going to be talking about um, another topic. And I'm not sure yet what it's going to be. But it's definitely going to be something about um, how we can make sure we, we're doing good as far as ourselves. Because, you know, being alone doesn't necessarily mean you have to be lonely, okay? Um, so, again, if you want to be a part of my group, please hit Live with Carla Nicole. It's a group. I have all of my videos on there. You're definitely free to be a part of that group. Send me a, a request on that group. It's called Live with Carla Nicole. And I will definitely add you to that group so you can be a part of that. And like I said, make sure you share this video. And, and um, you know, I'm just so thankful you guys were here and, and shared your time with me. I don't take that lightly. I really do appreciate it. Um, and again, you know, uh, I have a perfume out called Emotional. So if you would like to get a bottle of that, please inbox me um, to get you some of that, that perfume as well. So again, um, it is already over, but I was really enjoying this because I think it was really essential that we talk about how important we put certain things in practice. We can we can do things that we want to do, but when we but when we begin to um, focus on improving ourselves, it shows that we love ourselves, and when we when you love God. There's no denying that um, God is in you. All right? So I thank you guys so much for being here. Um, it is already 1245, so I am out of here. So it is Carla Nicole signing off. That's kept. Have a good day. Bye.